country, it's called the Money Party. So what party it's do you the support? Money party. It's the Money Party. So what party do you support? It's called Republican. I'm independent. should have it. Healthcare for everyone. And are you a college student or? I am a college student. And you actually care about healthcare? Of course. Of course I care. It's an issue. It's not something to be ignored. It's not something we can just let go. We need to stand up and fight for it. There's no way this goes to our money and our industry and the healthcare. Should be people dying right now, not in this country, not in this way. Where are you from? Mexico. And in Mexico, they have health care for all. Yeah, and it's they? public. So, so it's universal. So this is kind of a shock to you. Probably. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's impossible in a country like this with our own money, with first first world country, they don't have uh, they don't have coverage for for the people. Doesn't have the money to pay because it's not. It's not, it's not public, it's not open to everybody. We're here today, Anita. I am here today because I think that we have to have a voice, many, many voices, about single payer health care. And I don't think people are making the connection between single payer health care and, and uh, Obama's public option. What do you think they think it is? I think they think it's one and the same, and that Obama's going to turn the country socialist because they've been fed this by the media. And H.R. 676 is a single-payer, not-for-profit, universal health care for all. Everybody in, nobody out. And it was a bill that I believe was written in 2003, co-authored by Congressman Conyers and Congressman Kucinich. And I'm, a, I'm also with the Green Party, and single-payer, universal, not-for-profit health care has been a part of our platform for a very long time. I'm out here to support the health care reform. And why you, do we need health care reform? What's the deal? Well, a lot of people get kicked out of hospitals because they can't pay for anything or health insurance won't pay. They're actually covered and they don't get paid for and they get kicked out on the streets and a lot of people die. They don't get any better. They, you know, they can't get treatment. Has anybody in your family ever had any health issues? Health issues? Of course. I, I have health issues. Everyone has health issues. Some of those could be considered pre-existing too if I get dropped from my health insurance. Then no one would be there to pay for it. Yeah. I'm, you would just go bankrupt. After, after this year, I'm on my own. That's right. You no. be what, 21 or whatever? 23. 23? Yeah, I get dropped from my parents' health insurance and I gotta find my way out on my own. And if you have a pre-existing condition, Which that's gonna be real difficult. I've talked to a lot of doctors and they said some of the stuff I have can be considered a pre-existing condition if I have any lapse in coverage. You don't know until you use it. Do something I urge you to call your Congress people and senators. Little, little benefit that will be derived from doing that. We are out here because the Democrats and the Republicans have both let us down and sold us out to the insurance companies. And right now, we're not looking at any real reform in any of the bills going through Congress, except for 676. Jesus. With the, with the exception of, of H.R. 676, there is no bill currently in Congress that actually it's provides health care guaranteed folks. for all Americans. And without a single-payer system or a real public option, or a real public option which could really only take the form of expanded Medicare for everybody, we're not going to see any real health care reform. At best, we're going to put a Band-Aid on an axe wound, and we're going to keep seeing tens of thousands of people die every year from things that are easily treated, but we don't want to pay for it. Health care works. Single-payer health care works in every industrialized country in the world. 
except for America. Why not? America, we're, we're supposed to be number one, we're supposed to be the best at everything, and yet we spend twice as much money as anyone else to have the 37th best care and one of the highest infant mortality rates in the developed world. It's ridiculous. It's a crime. And we're out here to wake people up to that. And to get the of pens and checkbooks. Purchasing government largesse with those pens and checkbooks. At, the, at your expense, how good is your insurance You do not that offers everyone the opportunity to purchase coverage and access to comprehensive health care at a reasonable price where profit and marketing and advertising and CEO salaries are not... Working class. Yeah. We are all working class. Like a I love that. 